for you. WJCL News is working for you. Tonight we have an update to Savannah State University's marching band suspension. The school suspended the band indefinitely for violating a student code of conduct. Well, tonight the band members are speaking out. WJCL Chelsea McDonald working for you, digging up the details. What have you learned, Chelsea? Well, Kevin and Jennifer, the student president of Savannah State's band is determined to not let their program go down. He doesn't know why the band is suspended and he wants answers. Savannah State students pride themselves on one SSU, but a band member feels divided. We don't know what code it is. We don't know what violation it is. We don't know what that violation leads to. We don't know what the consequences for the violation is. We weren't given anything. Glenn Pittman, the band student president, wants answers. He says he met with the school's assistant provost and other school administrators on Friday but left with more questions. I myself asked, different band members asked, what were the violations? Nothing could be discussed at the moment. Currently, the band room is off limits to students unless they are taking a credit-bearing academic class. School administrators suspended the band program after finding what they call evidence of violations of the code of conduct. Pittman's main concern, band scholarships and classes. Marching band is a class from six, six to nine. Okay, so you go to class every day, you get your scholarship. You put in time in a computer, just like you clock in for work. That's how marching band works. We called Savannah State. They did not confirm if the marching band is indeed considered a credit-bearing class. Meanwhile, administrators told Pittman, despite the issues, students will still receive their scholarships. I just want this situation to be handled. I want the band to be treated fair. I think we should be allowed to perform at basketball games. Meanwhile, GBI is investigating the death of a student band member found in a dorm earlier this month. Now, there is no confirmation if the student's death and the suspension of the band are related, but we will continue to follow and update you with the latest details. Several questions remain.